Hello art students. Today I'm excited to show you how to draw a moose. An animal oftentimes found especially in northern Minnesota. Let's go ahead and begin drawing this moose. I'm going to be working today with a Sharpie Black permanent marker and you are going to be able to work with just an ordinary pencil. That way in case if you make a mistake you're going to be able to use your trusty eraser, eraser here and you're going to erase and you can try again. On that note, if you do make a mistake, just remember, draw lightly so that you are able to indeed erase your line without seeing any ghost lines. Alright, here we go, let's begin. So a moose, um, they're pretty big, they're pretty tall, um, I think the height is usually really understood in their legs. They like stand up really tall on those tall legs. All right, let's begin. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and my strategy here is gonna be that I wanna start with the head region and then I think I'm gonna put um, the body right about here and then I wanna leave a lot of room down here um, so that it kind of appears that it has nice tall spindly legs. Um, and then maybe down here at the bottom we'll do some rocks and some grass and just give it a little bit of some detail and if you want to even add trees in there into the background and kind of evolve your art you know with a really cool background um, with your imagination you can do that all right let's begin so right away um a moose's head we want to save some room up here probably for their big antlers so i think i'm gonna go right about here Actually, first I'm going to grab a better marker. You can see that one's tip is not going to work out so great. This one's looking much better. There we go. Alright, so here we go. Dip down right here. We got a nice long snout. Like that. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come right where we left off here and we're going to curl down and curl up kind of like that this is their snout um, we're gonna turn this little curled in part right here into their nostril their nostril is really big actually and it's a unique shape it kind of comes out like this and we're going to continue over here on the other side because our snout kind of flares out a little bit right here. So um, we're going to come out right here on the other side like this. Okay, doing good so far. We're going to come right here under the nostril region. And they kind of have almost like a little gobble kind of thing going on here. And then it turns into like a big big wavy part that just kind of hangs and dangles down here. All right, so we got that part right there. Um, before we go down the neckline, I think we're going to go up towards the eye here. So we're going to go right about here, not touching the nostril quite, but we're going to come along right here and we're going to create some texture lines like this. And this will give just an indication of some fur happening. Then I'm gonna change the direction um, as we get closer to like the eye region. Okay. Now as big as a snout as what moose might have, their eyes are actually not that large compared to the rest of their head. So kind of interesting. We're gonna draw a circle here now for the eyeball. Okay. We're gonna draw a little circle inside of that one like so. And then while you're at it, Go ahead and you can just shade the rest of that in because their eyes are quite dark in appearance. Okay, now that we're this far, I think we are going to go for it and we're going to do the antlers. Okay, the antlers, we're going to start right up here. Here we go, we're going to start with antler number one. We're going to start at the point. We're going to come down. We're going to come back up. And we're going to come back up here like that and then right about here 
we're going to come out like this, and then we're going to come up like this. And then this one will come way up high, it'll slightly bend out, come down, curl up. They have a really unique shape to their antlers, and they're very, they're not like deer antlers, they're kind of wide. They have really huge ones, and they're very wide and bulky in their shape. Okay, and then we're going to... The bottom side of their antler is very narrow uh, or straight at an angle. So we're going to slightly bend here, very slightly, and we're going to come down and we're going to imagine that it touches right there, okay? Then um, from there, we are going to go ahead and we're going to draw the ear. It's kind of tucked in there. Um, so to draw the ear, it's kind of like this shape, except it's a little different. Kind of a little bit wider, it's a little more blunt in appearance, like that. Barely tell the difference. To make it stand out and be different, what we'll do here is we'll draw an indication of the inside of the ear, like that, and then we'll go ahead and add some um, little marks in here, just to show some dimension there of the ear. Okay? Doing very good so far, following along. All right, so now that we did this side of the antler, let's go ahead and we'll go over to the other side. So to do the other side, we're gonna start right about here. We're gonna come out and up, curl down, here we go. And then we're going to come right along here, curl upwards like so, down, like that, okay, and then we're going to have another one curling up like this. This one's kind of at a different angle because it's on the other side of the moose's head, okay, and um, directly out from this angle right here, right straight out this direction. We're going to draw a big portion of it, so follow with me, careful with your eyes here as you're following my lines come up here like this, we're going to curl up, bend in slightly like that, and then we're going to come down like this, we're going to bend up like this, create some fun little characteristics to these antlers here, we're going to come up, there we go, like that, and then just like the one over here, they're kind of, they're really flat and narrow. They don't really have anything going on at the bottom, so we're going to just attach that right there. And then we're going to do the wide part of our antler, so watch carefully. So right in between this area, right here, okay? This is where we're going to work for a little bit. We're going to draw right here. We're going to go behind this point, behind it. This is going to show the appearance of overlapping or foreshortening. Up. We're going to go up like this, like that, and then over here, it's kind of like a wavy seashell, the way I look at it, kind of like that, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to come back in, and the ear of this um, on this side is going to be way over here, and we're going to just plant the ear right in here right away so we know that that's the ear and it's not an antler or anything else. We're going to shade it and give it texture, kind of like how we did this one. We're going to just give it some um, texture marks over here, some shading, like that. Okay, so now it's easier to tell, you know, the ears apart from the antlers. Okay doing very good. I'm gonna stop right there because this is like a lot for the moose head and I want you to take your time in parts with me. So I'm gonna stop right there and I'll continue in the next video.